What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well today we're going to go ahead and do a step-by-step -step guide on how to mine Solana. Now I entirely understand Solana is not a cryptocurrency that you can actually mine. It's not proof of work. It's actually proof of stake. But I'm going to show you how to mine one coin and then get paid out in Solana. So we are going to be using this makeshift rig that I put together here. We have six total GPUs. There are three RX 574 gig cards as well as three R9 380Xs. And we're gonna go ahead and take this rig and swap it over to mining Solana or getting paid out in Solana in just a few easy steps. So let's go ahead and head over to our computer and we'll get started. Okay, so Solana has been popping off a lot recently. Uh, if we go ahead and take a look right now over the last year, you can see it's really gained some tractions. If we go back to February, January-ish time period, Solana was sitting at you know a very, very low from, from the current value of it. But as this time has gone on, this trend has really skyrocketed. I mean, we were down at a very low number and look at us now. Solana is at the peak of $200. Uh, even right now, it's up 3.32%, currently sitting at $198.44. So, so Solana is no joke. If we go back to the August time period, it really started to grab some legs and take off. And it's just because there's been so many projects that have been utilizing the Solana blockchain. There's been quite a few popular ones too as well. Um, things like g video games. Uh, look at Axie Infinity. They're in the process of uh, when they launched Star Atlas, um, which is a fantastic game out there. Go ahead and take a look at it. This game, the graphics are insane, um, but it's a very cool way to utilize uh, Solana and also NFTs, which is something that we're seeing more and more of. There's been a lot of other big video game outlets that have been announcing the use of NFTs uh, for in-game items, um, for uh, other images, for graphics, for skins, all utilizing NFTs and the blockchain network. There's also been a number of DeFi items that have uh, come into the market utilizing Solana and their platform. Things like Uniswap and automated uh, maker uh, marker, uh, as well as a few other things like Orca uh, and their AMM decks on Solana as well. So there has been so many projects jumping on the Solana train. It's definitely worth it based off the direction it's going to consider getting yourself a nice bag of coin with solana now you could very well go out and purchase this outright if you're interested but we're miners we love to mine everything in addition to that what's really caught my attention as a miner uh, is the fact of we've done many videos out there on flux uh, if you guys are not familiar with flux i'll put a link in the upper right hand corner to a few uh, videos that i have done one of the latest pieces of news that has come out there is with Flux and their parallel assets. That means that you are not only mining Flux, but you are also parallel mining a few other coins, KDA, ETH, BSC. Now, um, Solanus as well has been added to that mix, as well as several, and Tron, as well as several more coming down the pipeline. So this allows us to go ahead and utilize Solana even more than what we already currently are. So there's definitely a lot of really good projects and legs under Solana as a miner and as well as a crypto investor. So let's not waste too much time now. Let's go ahead and jump into a quick step-by-step -step guide on how to mine one coin and get paid out in Solana. So our first step is going to be downloading a wallet or opening an account on a wallet that handles Solana. So in my situation, I will be using Exodus and we will be going ahead and jumping into that program. If you guys don't have an Exodus wallet, I highly recommend it. I love this. I use Exodus for 99% of my cryptocurrency. If you're interested, I'll put a link to Exodus down below. Once you're in your Exodus wallet, your next step is to go ahead and retrieve your Solana wallet. 
So you're going to go ahead and hit receive. And right here, you'll be able to go ahead and see your Solana wall address. We're going to go ahead and use the copy function on the far right to copy our Solana wallet address. Okay, step number two is going to be to go ahead and open up our Hive OS farm. So go ahead and go to hiveos.farm and load up your farm. Once you have that up and running, our next step is we need to go ahead and set up a wallet for this. So we're going to go ahead and go over to wallets and we're going to do add wallet. And we need to go ahead and fill out this information with this. So I'm going to go ahead in here and type in uh, SOL for Solana. Um, and it doesn't have it, as you guys can see. So we're just going to go ahead and type it out entirely. We're going to create a new one. We're going to put our wallet address in there. And we're going to call it here Solana. And I like to put Exodus after to tell me what platform it is currently on. Then we're going to go ahead and click Create. Once you've gone ahead and created your wallet, our next step is to go ahead and select Flight Sheets. Once you're over at Flight Sheet, we need to go ahead and populate a new Flight Sheet. So for our coin, we're going to go ahead and click there and we're going to find Solana. For our wallet, we'll click the drop down and there we go. It has our wallet. And now for the pool. So in this situation, we're going to select Configure in Pool. And now finally, we want to go ahead and select our miner. Now, in my situation, I am running, running these on the AMD cards that we talked about, the 570s, as well as the R9380s. So I'm going to use Team Red Miner. Now, what you need to do is you need to click into Setup Miner Config. And in here, we have to go ahead and populate an algorithm. So, uh, and as well as our wallet address and the pool. So this is where, as I talked about at the top of the video, we need to go ahead and mine one coin and get paid out in Solana. So we're going to go over to a website called Unminable. These are, majority of these are coins that are proof of stake and that are, are not mineable. So right here on Unminable, and I'll put a link, guys, if you guys uh, need a link directly to Unminable, uh, down below in the description, you're going to go ahead and click Solana. So there's a handful of different algorithms that you can mine with. And don't worry, guys, this is not difficult, I promise. So at the top here, we can use Ethereum, we can use Ethereum Classic, we can use Kapow, or you can do your CPU mining with RandomX. I know a lot of people that do this with speculative coins, uh, they'll go with the CPU route as well. So in my situation, I am going to select Ethereum Classic, so ETC hash. So that is the algorithm that we will be going ahead and selecting. So let's go back to our flight sheet and we're going to type in ETC hash. Now for our wallet address, we're going to go back to unminable. And what it says is right here, the syntax is SOL colon. And then remember that, that wallet address that we copied out of Exodus? We're going to go ahead and use that here. So we're going to come in here and type SOL colon, and we're going to paste in our wallet address. The next thing in that syntax that it's asking for is a dot and your worker name. So we're just going to do dot, and this worker name is Banshee. Simple and easy. The next step is we need to fill out our pool. So we're going to go over here and it gives us on Unminable the option to manually set the server. So I'm going to select that because I'm on the East Coast and I'm just going to click on ETC hash dash US and it's going to copy that to my clipboard. And then I'm going to paste that into the pool URL. I'm going to put an X for the password field here. And other than that, we're set and good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and click apply changes. Last thing I love to do is I like to come down to a flight sheet and I like to name it in a syntax of SOL for Solana. And then I'm going to put a dash and then do the rig name, which is Banshee. And then I'm finally going to go ahead and type in the miner, which is Team Red Miner. And I'm going to hit Create Flight Sheet. Now we are ready to apply this flight sheet to our mining rig. Okay, so go ahead in HiveOS and locate the rig that you're interested in. We're going to select Banshee. And we're going to come over to Flight Sheet. And I'm going to unset the current flight sheet, which is currently mining Shiba. So I'm going to click the dots and go to Unset. My next step is to find the Solana one, which we had previously created in our previous step. And we're going to click the rocket to send it to the moon, as we say, or to go ahead and apply that flight sheet. 
your rig's going to go ahead and apply that flight sheet. It could take some time. Um, so give it a minute and it should go ahead and start mining here shortly. Now, under overview, everyone's overclock settings are entirely different. So make sure that you set your overclock settings related to Ethereum Classic. If you guys are unsure, like, mm, I'm not really sure where to get started with that. There is on the right hand side, this little uh, gauge. If you click on the gauge, you all these fields will be empty. You can click popular presets, select our coin, which is using Ethereum Classic. Even though we're mining a Solana or we're getting paid out Solana, we're mining actually Ethereum Classic. So under the coin, select ETC. And now based off of that GPU, it's going to give you some recommendations. It's always good to possibly start out with the one with the hardest cardinality uh, behind it. Keep in mind your overclock settings will differ based off of the memory on that uh, GPU. So in just after a few minutes, we are up and running and we're mining Ethereum Classic, but we're being paid out in Solana, which is exactly what we wanted to do. Simple, easy, I love it. So our next step is after you've let this run for a little while, we want to go ahead and validate that, you know, we're actually um, getting paid to our wallet. So the pool for this, as we talked about there, was Unminable that we're using. So we need to go back over to Unminable and we need to go ahead and check. So what we need to do is within HiveOS, click on Flight Sheet and there's your wallet address. Just highlight that and copy it. The next step is to go back over to Unminable and select Solana. And at the very top left, it says address. Click there and you can go ahead and paste in your address and it's going to come up and show you. OK, we have zero Solana. OK, but down here, here's our rig and it's telling us we're at 146 mega hash. So as I start to earn Solana, it's going to go ahead and start to come and populate in here. And then I just checked off the box auto pay every 12 hours whenever the balance is over 0.15 Solana. So this will allow you to come in here and see, OK, like, how am I doing? How is my hash rate doing? How, you know, maybe check once a day. OK, this is what I'm making in that day. This is what I made in that week. And this will go ahead and give you a better idea. Uh, now you can do payout now, um, but there's a few other adjustments that you have to do with that. But it's always best, especially with fees, just to allow it to auto pay and just check off that box there for every 12 hours. You may want to do this once a week, once a month. You know, it all depends kind of where your head is at. But guys, we are currently now mining Ethereum Classic and we are earning Solana in our bag. Well, guys, that is it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this short video going over how to go ahead and mine Solana. If you guys did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and all the links from today's videos are down below in the video description. Take care.